One of the objectives of United Nations Sustainable Goals is access to education and a reduction of inequalities. And since the adoption of the SDG and implementation of the homegrown school feeding program by the federal government in 2016, statistics shows that the school enrollment by pupils came to about 9.04% million across 26 states with over 80,000 smallholder farmers benefiting from the scheme. No doubt the closure of schools owing to the COVID-19 pandemic may be slowing down this objective, but at this revalidation exercise meeting on how the program has fared, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs gives some assurances of a recommencement. Well, we're commencing immediately schools resume. We will normally do this uh, uh, payments at the third week of the month and so before uh, the third week of february we'll be able to achieve some of this just before her assurances on the recommencement of the program she highlights plans to expand government's social intervention program to people living with disability and the most vulnerable we have also successfully created and operationalized the national commission for persons with disabilities to better manage the needs of our comrades who have special needs. It is therefore safe to say that we have been working tirelessly to ensure that vulnerable Nigerians are brought into the federal government's social protection umbrella, which seeks to support, empower, and level the playing field so that they may contribute their quota to society and the betterment of our great nation. There were observations by representatives of participating states and this borders on how to increase monitoring and evaluation to achieve results. Most of our women, rural women, they think that there is part of their national cake. So some of them they will just receive this money and keep away from the children. So this is an area because uh, the state program managers, I think, are designated to conduct MIE, evaluate, because we submit to them. And we must to ensure that uh, things are done very well. The task before the government on the implementation of its social intervention program for the year 2021 may be daunting as the cases of the COVID-19 pandemic continues to rise. Nigerians will be watching to see how the policy will translate into making their lives better.